Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. So in this video, it's a drawing of Sinon from Sword Art Online 2, I think the second season. I actually watched the first season not that long ago. Like, I kind of, yeah, watched it a bit late. I mean, I heard a lot about it. There's kind of a lot of hype about it, I think. And I'd kind of heard mixed things about it, like some people obviously really loved it, some people said it was kind of lame. So I kind of, I checked it out. A lot of people said like, the second half, because anyone who's watched it, it's really kind of set up in two different halves, like the first season. It's kind of weird, like it almost feels like two seasons. And I'd heard a lot of people say that the second half was just kind of filler and wasn't really necessary. But honestly, I didn't really mind it, like... Some parts for it, some parts of it were a little bit lame and stuff, but if you kind of just get past that, I think it's still kind of an enjoyable show to watch. And uh, I've seen, I think, like five episodes of season two, which has got Sin on, um, if I'm pronouncing that name properly, which I'm probably not. But yeah, it seems pretty cool. I just, I prefer watching the dubbed anime because I'm Honestly, when I watch anime, I'm generally drawing. I like to do something at the same time, so I feel like I'm doing something productive and not just watching watching shows. So I generally just wait for the wait for the dub to come out. And I think I don't know if it's fully out. I was watching it on YouTube, I think. So there's probably a few more episodes now. But yeah, this was a request I got. Someone wanted me to draw Sin on, so she's a pretty cool looking character. So I was happy to do it. Also, what I'm doing here, I just want to point out, I'm kind of thickening up the outlines. I think it really makes a big difference, especially especially with like anime style stuff. I mean, sometimes you want nice soft outlines, but it can look really cool to kind of chuck a power outline on the on the outside. It just makes it like pop a bit more and kind of stand out. If all the line work kind of looks the same, the same thickness, it kind of looks a bit boring. I think so. It's a pretty common technique, but it's just. Um, you know, it's worth taking that into consideration with the drawings, maybe trying it out, because it does make a big difference. Like you see here, I'm kind of popping the jacket out a bit more, chucking the outline on it. I didn't outline everything. I was kind of tossing up if I should outline her hair and the gun as well. I mean, I, I didn't end up doing a solid outline on that. So I'm not sure if I will. I might do that later once I color it, if I think it needs it. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see here I've got a new uh, multi-liner. I'll probably show you guys in a video some new art equipment I got. And I'm, I'm enjoying the new ones. They cost a bit, but they've got replaceable ink. So it's not too bad. It feels good quality. It's got a good weight to it. It feels like a yeah good quality art supply. I mean, Copic always does good quality stuff, I think even if they are pretty expensive. That's pretty much it for this video. I'll be colouring it with Copics when I get around to it. Hopefully that won't be too long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.